Okay, so I've checked the order, the prescribing order, and I need to draw some blood on a patient who has a central venous access device. So I have all my supplies ready before I go into the room. Um, I know that I'm gonna need um, vacutainer, a couple of the blood tubes that are appropriate for the blood that I'm drawing, and I also have um, a 10 ml syringe, and I also have um, some saline flushes. So when I go into the room, I'm gonna make sure that I wash my hands and I introduce myself, provide for privacy, and also uh, make sure that I identify my patient with two identifiers, and then also confirm any allergies the patient may have, and also confirm the identity with my EMR. So here I'm in my patient's room and I'm looking at the central, central venous access device. So I know that this patient has a triple lumen device. So you can see here that there's three lumens and I don't have any IV fluids infusing. So at that point, I don't have to worry about stopping any IV infusions and um, or, or pausing them. Um, I can go ahead and just plan on drawing my blood. I'm going to use the distal port for my blood draw because that is the largest um, lumen port and um, that's typically what is recommended. So as you can see, they all have disinfectant caps on, so I'll have to remove that before I take my blood sample. And also I am just assessing the site of the catheter um, to make sure that it is intact and there isn't anything abnormal with the site and um, make sure I document at the end as well. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna go ahead and get my supplies ready. All right, so everything is open that I need so far. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and put my clean gloves on. I'm also gonna make sure that I am implementing aseptic non-touch technique, noting that we do not want to touch any areas that might introduce bacteria into our central line. So here we have our distal lumen. We have a needleless connector and we have the disinfectant cap in place and my port is clamped. So what I need to do first is take off my cap and do my vigorous scrub for at least five seconds. Okay. And then I wanna go ahead and put my um, saline flush on the end because I'm gonna make sure that we still get blood return and that this lumen is patent to take blood from. So I attach that, and attach that with the non-touch sterile technique and then I open up my clamp and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull back and I'm getting blood return there. So then I can go ahead and flush with policy recommended amount, which is about 10 cc's. It's flushing very well. I don't feel any resistance. You never want to force anything into the catheter. So I flush that. And then now I'm going to use the same syringe um, to pull back my discard blood before I take my blood sample because I want to have an accurate blood sample. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back four to five mLs of discard blood. And I'm going to go ahead and clamp before I remove that. And then I'm going to discard that in the appropriate receptacle. So my area is lumen is clamped and now I'm going to disinfect for at least five seconds because now I'm going to be ready to withdraw the blood sample that I need. So I need to take a sterile syringe 
10cc syringe. I'm going to attach it using the non-touch non -touch technique. I'm going to unclamp and I'm going to withdraw the amount of blood that I need for my sample. When I have obtained the blood that I need, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clamp again. And I'm going to transfer the blood into my blood collection tubes as soon as possible. So I take out my sterile vacutainer and I take the blood tubes that I need and I'm going to transfer the blood into those. And I fill those up. Remove and I'm going to invert. Then I'm going to take my other blood tube, put it in there, and I'm going to fill that up. And then I'm going to remove, invert, discard. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands, remove my gloves, wash my hands. gloves on because now I have to flush my port that I use because I want to make sure that it doesn't clot off so I need to flush it and lock it. So I grab my sterile saline And then I need to disinfect my port again, vigorously for five seconds at least. Attach my saline, and then I'm gonna unclamp. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flush with the recommended amount per policy. Clamp again. Okay, discard that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a new um, disinfectant cap and I'm going to place it on the end of my needleless connector. Now, if your needleless connector has gotten soiled with blood or contaminated with blood, um, this one looks fairly clean, you can go ahead and change that needleless connector um, per your policy. So now once that I have my blood and um, my patient is in my presence, I'm going to go ahead and label my blood tubes in front of my patient and then I'm going to transfer those to lab as soon as possible and then I'm going to document the procedure and um, monitor my lab values as ordered.